In Japan, we have a custom to eat two rice porridges after the new year to pray for good health. Nanakusa gayu and azuki gayu. I'm going to explain more about the history on each porridge, but for now, let's cook together. Starting with nanakusa gayu. I have a half cup of rice, rinse and drain the water a couple of times until the water becomes light milky white. Soak them in water for one hour. After one hour, drain the water as much as you can, transfer to the pot. I recommend using a heavy bottom pot which distributes the heat evenly. Today I'm using a clay pot called Donabe in Japanese. I have a shop link for this Donabe with a discount code. The link is in the description box. Add three cups of water. I do one part of rice and seven parts of water. The exact measurement is written on my blog. Cook it over high heat and once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low and stir it once. Partially cover the lid and simmer it for 35 minutes. Keep the heat low, otherwise, it's gonna boil over just like I did. <laughs> In the meantime, let's go over Nanaksa. The direct translation of Nanaksa porridge is seven herbs rice porridge. Nanaksa is kind of Japanese herb which is eaten in porridge that does not put the burden on the stomach and intestines. In addition to that, the light porridge has a very fresh taste after the series of slightly heavy New Year's dishes. For suzuna, aka turnip, and suzushiro, which is daikon radish, they are harder than the other herbs, so thinly slice them. For other herbs, just chop up into small pieces, then set it aside for now. Later on, we're gonna add everything directly into the porridge 5 minutes before the rice is cooked. Fun fact about this nanaksagayu is that the seven herbs are said to ward off evil for the rest of the year in addition to praying for a good health. It is said that in the old days, the number of times the herb was chopped on the cutting board was also decided, which is very strict, like very interesting to me. Let's check on the porridge. We still need to cook it for 10 more minutes. Make sure to stir them every 5 minutes or so to prevent them from burning. 5 minutes before it's done, add suzuna and suzushiro. Mix them in and continue to simmer. If your porridge is not soupy enough, feel free to splash some water. One minute before it's done, add the rest of the herbs. It will continue to cook with the residual heat. Pour it into your favorite bowl and enjoy with soy sauce, salt, or any other toppings you like. I mixed soy sauce, toshisami oil, and chopped spring onion along with the zest of yuzu. Yuzu is only available in this season, so I wanted to enjoy it as much as possible. Ah, it's good! It's a good smell. The sauce is completely optional. Just salt and soy sauce is good enough. We are supposed to eat this on January 7th. Sorry, it's already passed. I should have introduced you earlier, but the next Azuki porridge is supposed to be enjoyed on January 15th. Just in time, so I hope you will give it a try. Let's move on to the Azuki porridge, which is a red bean porridge in English. This is hands down my favorite. I have half cup of rice, rinse and drain the water a couple of times until the water becomes light milky white. Soak them in water for 30 minutes. We have 50 grams of red beans called azuki beans in Japanese. Azuki is what you usually use in Japanese confectionery such as red bean paste. Rinse and drain the water, transfer to the pot followed by one and a half cups of water. Once it comes to a boil, reduce it to simmer and cook it for 2 minutes, then drain the water. Red beans have a distinctive bitter taste. So to reduce the bitterness, we do this quick blanching before we actually start to cook. Add the red beans back into the same pot and add another 2.5 cups of water. Bring it to a boil, reduce it to simmer, and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes or until beans are cooked but still firm and retain the chewy texture and shape of it. It still feels pretty firm, 
But no worries, we're gonna continue to cook with rice later on. Once the beans are cooked, separate the red beans from the liquid. Reserve the liquid for later. In the measuring cup, add in the reserved red bean liquid and fill with additional water until you reach 3.5 cups in total. Just a heads up, it might motivate you to make this porridge. <laughs> This leftover liquid contains compounds called anthocyanins, which have a strong antioxidant. It contains 1.5 times more than the red wine does. It also contains saponin. Saponin is effective in preventing swelling and boosting immunity. Yay! <laughs> Into the clay pot, add rice and red bean juice. Mix that together. Add the cooked red beans on top. Cook it over high heat and once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low and stir it once. Partially cover the lid and simmer it for 35 minutes. There was a custom to eat red bean porridge on January 15th to ward off evil spirits. The red color of azuki beans has a mysterious power and it was used as a spell to ward off epidemics. Even today, we eat red bean rice called sekihan for the occasion of celebration. To be honest, my family didn't follow this custom until some of you told me about this. A lot of traditional customs are being lost nowadays. It's nice to relearn with you guys so that I can hand it over to the next generation. After 35 minutes, the rice is creamy and soft and the beans are nice and tender off the heat and seasoned with the salt and soy sauce. In my recipe on the blog, I undersalt it, so feel free to add more to your liking. The rice porridge are not kid friendly, to be honest. They think it's a bit bland, but it's a perfect breakfast for me, especially when I want to eat something light for my stomach. I just really love this and I really want you to try this. Thanks for your kind words for our course launch. We have new people joining, which is very exciting. And some of you ask me if I continue to post videos on YouTube. I'm not going to stop, but I might have to slow down a bit since I'd like to support my students in the online course community. Editing video takes a lot of time, so instead, I'll send you newsletters with helpful information around healthy Japanese cooking. So feel free to sign up on the mailing list and we'll stay connected. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. Bye. Matane. Mm. 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 Mm.